Every now and again, there's a game that is so well made and so special that it transcends its genre, making itself a game that every gamer should experience at some point. Incredible experiences like Super Mario 64, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and of course, the game we'll be playing and talking about this week, Chrono Trigger. I hope you will all join us here at FED as we stream this masterpiece and discuss it throughout this week. For the remainder of this video, I'd like to share with you the different ports of Chrono Trigger and which one would best suit you. Chrono Trigger was released for the Super Nintendo in 1995. This version of the game will be what we play on the channel for recording purposes, but it may not be the best version for you. The pros of the SNES version of Chrono Trigger are 1. The original control scheme 2. It runs perfectly as intended 3. It has a very solid translation 4. It is the easiest to emulate. I won't tell you how to do that, you have to figure that out on your own, uh, but it is you know, very easy to find and, and play. Uh, regardless of whether or not you have a Super Nintendo or not. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Uh, your, your, your Microsoft Super Nintendo might, might do the trick. Uh, the cons of the original Chrono Trigger release really is not anything major, just that there's no extra content. Uh, but to me, that's not a big deal, really. And we'll touch on that more in a few minutes. In preparation for the release of the sequel to Chrono Trigger Chrono Cross, Square ported Chrono Trigger to the PlayStation in order to catch people up on the story and to drum up attention for the series. The pros of the PlayStation 1 version are extra content. This port of Chrono Trigger included new animated cutscenes and the ability to rewatch them from the startup menu. That same menu called Extras Mode included the music from the game, the different endings you have unlocked, a bestiary, art gallery, and more. The cons of the PlayStation version are the load times. Being on a disc means load times, which can be frustrating when coming from the SNES version that had no load times at all. For me, this is really game breaking, uh, but for you, it might not be that big a deal. What many see as the definitive release, Chrono Trigger was ported to the Nintendo DS in 2008. It included the enhancements from the PlayStation version, while ridding itself of those pesky load times. There are new dungeons to explore, new enemies and bosses to fight, and new items. To round it off, this all comes packaged with a new ending. There was also a monster arena added, but it feels pretty weak and it isn't the most important addition to the game. The pros of the DS version are, number one, it's portable, you can play it anywhere, which is always a good thing. Number two, it has new content, and number three, it runs perfectly. Uh, outside of the Super Nintendo uh, version of the game, the DS version is definitely the closest you're going to get to the original experience that the creators intended. The cons of the DS version. Number one, the screen size. This might not bother many of you, but if you can, make sure to play it on a 3DS XL or a DSi XL. Just the bigger screen makes such a difference that the game is so pretty and really benefits from being able to see it as well as you can. The other con is the new translation that has received mixed reviews. Uh, they claim it's more accurate, but they changed certain na the names of certain things that didn't need to be changed and whatever else. So if you are a uh, SNES purist, you may not be a fan of the new translation. And it's also a little wordy too, and there's a lot of extra dialogue. I don't know, it, 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 that really just comes down to preference. I think I prefer the SNES translation, but the DS is fine as well. Now with many of Square's older RPGs, they're out on Android and iOS, out on smartphones. And this is the actual worst way to play the game. I, I won't even bother with pros and cons, just play a different version of it, unless there's literally no other way for you to experience Chrono Trigger. Finally, just a couple of years back, Square Enix put Chrono Trigger on Steam. This release came out of nowhere with no real announcement, and it's obvious why. It was a trashy port of the mobile version of the game. It looked bad, it felt bad, and was just a rough experience overall, but Square fixed it for the most part. It has been patched several times to make it look and run better. It is now a viable option to experience the game. The pros of this version are, it is readily available, and number two, it is a decent way to experience one of the greatest games of all time. The cons, the UI is a little clunky as it was designed for mobile, and the game is still far from the original experience. Overall, here is what I will say. If you can, play the DS version or the SNES version of the game. If you want the purest experience, boot up that Super Nintendo, otherwise go with the Nintendo DS. 
If those two options are out of the question, go with the Steam version of the game. It runs well enough and it will still allow you to experience a great game. Following that, you could play the PS1 port, but the load times are a huge turnoff for me personally, especially when you can play the game without them. Finally, just don't play the mobile version unless you have absolutely no other choice. It's not, it's not worth the money. If you can play it on Steam, do that before playing on mobile. Not worth it. Alright friends, that'll do it for me on this topic. If you have yet to play Chrono Trigger, go pick it up and play along this week. You will not regret it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on this week's discussion and playthrough. We will be streaming tonight at 6pm Pacific Time. Come hang out. It'll be fun.